Lesson 3 dash 1 integers and absolute value. Let's write this write an integer for each situation. Okay, a profit of nine dollars represent this by integer is nine. And then a bank withdrawal of fifty dollars. Bank withdrawal, which means you take away fifty, so you're gonna be minus fifty. This number is a integer that represents the situation. Uh, 53 degrees Celsius below zero. This below zero, zero is going to be negative, so negative 53. Seven inches more than normal, so seven plus seven or just seven. This one two feet below flood level, so this is going to be a negative two. And then an elevator goes up 12 lower, so it's going to be 12. Now grab each set of integers on a number line. So zero is this one. Just place a dot right here on zero. And then one, place a dot on one as well. And then negative three, this is the as simple as that. This one, okay. Negative five, so this is negative four, negative five in the middle between four and negative four and six. And then negative one in between negative two and zero. So this is negative one. And then 10. This is 10. And then negative 9. In between negative 10 and negative 8. That's negative 9. Okay. Number 9. 3. 3 in between 2 and 4. That's 3. And then negative 7 in between negative 6 and negative 8. And then number 6. Number 10, negative 2, this negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, and negative 8. Okay, negative 2, 4, 6, 8. Now evaluate each expression. This is your work. We are working with uh, absolute value. So any number within this absolute value, it will yield a positive number. For example, in this case, negative 12, it will become 12. That's what we mean by that. Absolute value. Any number inside here, positive or negative, it will always be a positive once you get it of the absolute value sign right here. So this, this is going to be ne negative 12, but with absolute value sign, it becomes 12. This one right here, let, let's, well, let's work on number 7 first. This 7 plus 4 inside absolute value, it will yield 4, 7 plus 4, 11. Number 9, negative 9, so the number 13, negative 9, but within this absolute value, it will become 9, plus negative 5, it will become 5. So 9 plus 5, 14. This one, negative 10, but since it is within the absolute value sign, so it becomes 10. And you divide by 2, you times by 5. 10 divided 2 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And then let's move on to number 15. 12 minus, this is negative 8, it becomes 8 and plus 7. So 12 plus 7, 19, 19 minus 8 is 11. This one, 27 divides 3 minus, this is a negative 4 within this absolute value, but it will become 4 like this. So 27 divided by 3, you got 9. 9 minus 4, you get 5.